All right, we are here at the supercharger in Alvdal, and you probably recognize this. This is Optimus Prime. Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, Optimus Prime is back again. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit what happened. Um, about a week ago, I had to get it to this repair shop because uh, the light here was off for something. Yeah, you guys can probably look at the other video, but it is fixed now. It was actually fixed this uh, Thursday, uh, and you know I I pulled some fuses and all that. But I was told that in the service uh, repair log that the fuse to the right side, like the headlight here, was blown, so they were. Replaced it, and also uh, there was actually some some wiring and something in this. Uh, they have apparently replaced something um, on the trailer hitch part. Let me see. I'm gonna go on the other side here, uh, maybe see it better. But they found corrosion here, and also they found. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, some stuff here seems to be old. This is not brand new. Uh, they found some corrosion here. I see this stuff is just wide open. I mean, it was probably designed for Southern California where you occasionally pull trailers, but uh, there are some crazy Norwegian Vikings who pull trailers all the time, all year, through salt, schmutz, winter, snow, whatever. So, I know one better design would be to have you know, the same cover used to cover this when you don't have a trailer. Just have a, a similar one where you have like cutout holes or whatever for for the plugs if it's possible or maybe they have to you know, insulate the the parts here better because it seems to be some kind of I mean it seems a little bit exposed all the stuff here yeah I'm not sure so I mean they fix it and then what's gonna happen again in 50,000 kilometers or 100,000 kilometers will it bug again um, but you see there was actually some wiring in this I mean in the cars part that like Okay, it didn't burn, but it was actually kind of melting. So that's not good because uh, if the trailer short circuits, that's what happened. Then the car should just blow the fuse. Um, so it it started here on this on this side here, actually. Oh, uh, let me show you here. The short circuit was over here because I opened this one and I replaced it with LED, and then I didn't tighten the screws good enough. So then water came in, uh, salt, especially salt water, and caused short circuit. So now this one and the other side has been replaced with the whole lamp is LED and it's like closed. So you, I don't have to open it ever again. And same thing in the back here. Uh, here, it was also regular light bulbs. So they replaced, replaced the whole thing now with the LED lamp. So I don't, never have to open that one too. But you see, where like you can say where did the problem start um, in a way if you like if you go all the way back it started with some corrosion in the plug and that caused one side of the lamp to go out and then I started replacing all this stuff but of course it's I still blame myself because I didn't tighten the screws good enough and then you know water came in and then that caused the the short circuit and it seems like the short circuit was the one that you know <laughs> kind of messed up the car and me pulling the the, the the fuses might not have been the only reason for all that stuff to happen yeah so I'm not sure but uh, the car is in uh, perfect condition again Optimus Prime freaking awesome car you know after having those loners it made me realize well, <laughs> What a great workhorse this is. This. So powerful, it's so convenient, it's so um, comfortable. And something else, you probably hear it by the way. You hear the sound from here? That's the cooling fans, which did not go earlier. I mean, I talked about this in some videos, I didn't make a separate video, but I had a problem with slow charging speed before. Um, so. I, f I figure out that actually it was slow because when supercharging the fans didn't start and then I tried to unplug then suddenly the, the fans went up again start spinning and then but when I plug in the fans stopped so uh, the problem was that if I 
Oh yeah. Let's say I was charging at, I should have been getting 90 kilowatts, but then suddenly the speed dropped to 70 and 60. I'm like, what the heck? I'm supposed to get more speed than this. So if I unplug, you guys can also try that if you see that you have similar problems, but it has to be caused by too hot battery, not too cold battery, or not too high state of charge. But, so if you, if I unplug, let the fan run for a little bit to cool down the battery, and then I plug in again, then suddenly, it goes from 60 to 90 but then after a while the battery overheats again and then the speed goes down but now it seems to be fixed they haven't i mean tesla told me there could be like low uh ac coolant in the circuit for the battery cooling or something but they checked that in the previous uh run uh when it was fixed and they said it was okay i, I don't know if they f if they feel something or not but Somehow it's been fixed. I, I believe it was a software bug from the start that, you know, the cooling didn't start. Yeah, I mean, if there was low coolant, then I would have some kind of message and the, the cooling shouldn't work as it you know, worked. So, yeah, that's weird. Um, but anyway, more update. In about three weeks, I will start full-time nimbering and YouTubing. And right now I'm actually live streaming. So I'm gonna go inside here. Um, yeah. See, I'm getting 95 kilowatt at 50-ish, 50%. And here we have the live stream equipment. So um, this is kind of very convenient because I have two phones now, two Samsung S7. Uh, this one I used for as a phone to, I use this one to call people and check appointments and everything. And then this one is only for live streaming. So. Uh, yeah, and this, okay, of course, it cost me like 450, oh, yeah, 450 euros. So I couldn't have afforded it just like that uh, because uh, I have other stuff to to pay. Uh, but, of course, with the support from you guys, from Patreon, I'm able to do this. Yeah, and in the back, I should also show you that. Yeah, in the back here, let's see, uh, I might have to avoid, I don't know what, uh, some poop. Actually, some dog poop around here, but uh, and do you see in the back? I have this Huawei. Um, it's a router. I will get a better placement of it later, but um, it has some nice antennas to give you better reception. And uh, shit, is it loose now? Let me see. I have to try to tighten it. Yeah, maybe I'm not doing this right. But yes, this one gives me 4G connection, and I use this. Uh, the reason why I actually don't use a direct tape because this one actually runs on 12 volt, but uh, uh, the voltage there is higher because of uh, when it's charging. So that's why I have to go via this and then get stabilized 12 volt because this is the original charger for that one. So um, that's pretty nice. I actually feel that uh, the signal is slightly better now than before when I had the, the battery driven uh, 4G mobile router. Yeah, so. This is gonna be my office, my YouTube studio on the run. I also have a YouTube studio at home. So I also have a laptop with me. Let me see. Uh, where is it? I'm gonna pull it out to show you guys. Nice equipment. Uh, so actually, yeah, there is my laptop. Here it is. My Lenovo. Oh man, it freaking smells outside. In the spring, it smells shit. It smells weird. It smells like rotten biological material yeah so um, I can shoot video while I'm supercharging like this and then uh, let, me, let me remove the steering wheel a bit yeah I'm gonna move it backwards like this uh, a bit more there yeah and then I can actually upload right away while I'm waiting for the charge anyway I have to stay for another uh, oops uh, half an hour or something yeah but, um, right, okay, so I guess uh, that's it for now, uh, short update from me, so uh, talk to you guys later.